What's up guys, my name is Dean aka the Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. In today's Terraria video I'm going to show you how to beat and defeat the Pumpkin Moon in Terraria which is the Halloween event which you'll most likely have done already on Halloween but if you haven't and you're a first time Terraria player this is going to be a guide on how you can defeat it. Now this video really depends if you want to get the Pumpkin Moon achievement or if you just want to pass all of the waves as soon as possible. The Pumpkin Moon will end at a certain time when night finishes, so if you're going for the achievement where you have to complete a certain number of waves, which I believe is around 20 or so, then you are going to need a different strategy which I'll also cover in the video. If you do want to just use the event to get loot drops and farm enemies, then you don't really need to complete every single wave of it and you can just kill the enemies and collect all the money and loot. But if you want to complete all 20 waves of the pumpkin moon you are going to need a lot of end game gear and weapons which I'm going to recommend throughout this video. So the pumpkin moon is a hard mode event which can only occur post plantera so like a lot of the events in the game you will have to defeat the plantera boss to actually initiate this. I do have a video on my channel how you can defeat plantera and how you can find the summoning item for it to spawn that boss so do check out both of those videos which I'll link on the video Video now before watching this one if you want to know how to summon this event and also if you haven't defeated that boss yet and need some tips and tricks on doing so. Basically the pumpkin moon event is summoned with the pumpkin moon medallion at any time of night and the event like I said will end at dawn which is 4.30 a.m in the game. So you're gonna have to craft the pumpkin moon medallion out of items in an anvil inside your base. Basically you're gonna need pumpkins which can be collected during the Halloween season around October in game. You can also change your windows clock to October if you want it to initiate in Terraria without it actually being Halloween and then you can collect pumpkins around your world. You'll also need hallowed bars which drop from most of the hard mode mechanical bosses in the game so defeating those will get you easy hallowed bars and along with that you'll also need 5 ectoplasm which is dropped from the dungeon spirits in the hard mode dungeon. Using all of these items that you then craft them all into a pumpkin moon medallion in a mithril or oracalcum and Using this you can summon the event and it doesn't actually need Halloween season to be activated to summon the event but you may need it just to gather the pumpkins to craft the medallion. Basically this event has a lot of high level enemies that are pretty difficult and they spawn at really high frequency rates. Especially these huge flying pumpkin enemies with these scythe hands, they're probably the toughest enemies these pumpkin mini bosses that you'll encounter which make it super hard and since they've got a ton of health and they're really hard to dial down it can mean that if you're going for the achievement you will fail a few times because they take a long time to kill them. The moon in the game turns into a jack-o-lantern but it remains in its current stage in time. So basically the entire event is actually 15 waves. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that you need to do 20 waves to the achievement but this is not the case. Basically this event has 15 different waves and they will progress as you kill enemies and get a higher kill score. So basically in the bottom right you can see that the more enemies I kill, just like all the other waves in the game like the Martian Madness Invasion, it will increase the progress in the progress bar when we down a lot of enemies. Obviously if you kill the mini bosses like the Pump Kings and some of those haunted trees on the ground, it will increase the progress of each wave dramatically as compared to a small normal enemy. And you'll get a status message when it goes on to the next wave which shows in the bottom left of your screen in purple text. Basically this event will always end at 4.30am in the morning in game so this is what makes it really hard to complete it quickly if you want to do all 15 waves to the achievement. This event is actually pretty cool though because you can get a lot of powerful weapons and accessories and there's a collection of different vanity items which you can use for your character and some of the pets in game actually drop from this event too although they're really rare. But the good thing about this event is every single night you can just keep summoning the pumpkin moon and just doing it over and over again for a higher chance of of getting some of that loot. So there's a lot of different enemies. There's the Scarecrow, Splinterling, Hellhound, Poltergeist, 
Headless Horseman, and then the Morning Wood, which is the Haunted Trees, and the Pump King, and these are two of the mini bosses, which are a lot tougher. There's a lot of really good loot dropped from this. For an example, you can get the Horseman's Blade, which is a hard mode sword, which does quite a lot of damage, and you can get the Pump King Trophy from defeating the mini bosses in game. I'd recommend killing all the enemies as soon as they appear on your screen and spawn, because a lot of enemies can spawn continuously if you avoid defeating the enemies that are already present. This makes it a lot harder to advance to the next stages if you have tons of enemies spawning which you haven't defeated because they can also halt progress of the event. This event is probably one of the best which I've seen so far for just harvesting tons and tons of pure gold. I got multiple platinum just from doing this event over and over again so if you want a money making method on how to get gold or platinum in Terraria, the Pumpkin Moon is probably one of the best gold farm events which I actually noticed whilst I was playing because each of the bosses and the normal mob they drop a ton of gold which you can collect, so make sure you do collect it during and after the event before it despawns. I'd recommend setting up a lot of traps if you're in the early game around which can be good to deal with the regular enemies and make platforms so a lot of the regular enemies can't reach you. Now as you can see in the video I am using the flying saucer which is from the cosmic car key item drop from the Martian invasion so I'd recommend getting that mount first of all because otherwise it's going to be nearly impossible to kite around these pumpkin bosses which have a real wide reach and they move really fast around your screen. Now let's go on to the final step which is if you want to get the achievement achievement for completing all of the waves in this event. To do this I'd recommend actually defeating the Pumpkin Moon late game post Moon Lord. Now a lot of people are going to be confused why I say this but the reason is is because once you actually get the hard mode sword drop Zenith which is arguably probably the best sword in the game from the Moon Lord it makes literally everything in the game just a breeze and a piece of cake. As soon as I got the Zenith all of the earlier content which I'd skipped over or forgot to do was just so easy to do that I just had to put no effort into it basically. If you have the flying saucer mount so you can avoid all of the mobs attacks and kite them around and then use the zenith sword to attack multiple enemies around you in an area of effect, they nuke down the pumpkin bosses super quickly and you can just power through all the waves and get the achievement. So I recommend using Zenith and the Flying Saucer to defeat the boss and get the achievement. So it's as simple as that, that's the guide on the pumpkin moon, a really simple method on how to get the achievement for completing every round before morning time comes and the event cancels, some of the item drops you can expect to get from it and all the mobs in the pumpkin moon and how to Summon it. If you enjoyed this Terraria video, make sure to like the video and drop a comment below if you have any other tips and tricks which I didn't feature in the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.